of electricity in their body. I, um, it's been happening all day. There's something going on. It's like the electricity is like coming out of my fingertips. And it's not just a slight electricity. It's a big spark. I was putting gas in my truck and I, I pulled my card out. I went to put the card in the thing and the electricity sparked from my finger into the card thing. And um, I felt the electricity when I wanted to open a door. Let me, let me, um, I need to get some air in here. Let me get just a second and roll down this window for a second. I'm taking a tad bit of a break right now. We're going to get this. Okay, let me do this. Hello. Um, hello, Apple Brooks, honey. Is anyone else experiencing that? You know how you could, in order to make electricity, you used to have to take your feet and just like rub it on the carpet so you can, um, you can get the electricity flowing through your body. When I got out of the truck and I went to close the door, there was electricity that shot from my fingertips. There's something going on. Um, hello, man. Hello, um, Wendy. Your heart is fluttering today, and you have never had this before. Muhammad Hassan, hello, Jessica. Um, that's what I'm wondering is anybody else got this going on with them? I know there's like solar flares or something, but I was afraid <laughs> when I when I took that card out of my pocket and um, I put it inside the thing and I thought, well, I do not want to touch the gas handle and the spark comes and the gas just poof from the spark of my finger. I can feel it. I feel it coming out of the tip of my finger. It's, it's really strange. It's really strange because it came out of the tip of my finger and it pops. It pops when it comes out. I'm activating Abby. Something's happening because it's been happening all day long. I'm trying to think if it, it happened when I awakened, when I awake, awakened this morning I'm trying to see if it happened yesterday while I was out with my stepdad, Ken. I can't remember, but I have noticed it a lot today. A lot. It's not just one little spark. Oh, no, it's a big pop. You have static electricity when you brush your hair. Um, I don't know what the humidity level is, um, but it's really um, the skies above. You can look at the skies above. Let me flip it around. It's um, It's nice. It's nice, it's nice up there. The humidity don't feel bad at all. It doesn't. It's a really nice day outside. But it's this static. I've, I've, the reason I'm doing a video, I've never experienced it before like this. I haven't. And I, it's not like, look, it's not like I'm sitting here rubbing around on making electricity happen. It's not. When Even when I got out of the car, I was out of the car for probably two minutes and stuff. And then um, I I went to um, touch somebody and it went boom. The spark went bow. And the individual said, man, I felt that. They felt it on their body um, a lot. Um, spit it. Spit in. Why do I want to spit in a cup? I don't want why do I want to spit in a cup? Now, this I'm, I'm be, unless that is a, some type of a scientific experiment or something, it's all over the stuff that you touch at home and you went out about electric pops. You tried the dryer sheet on your hair to help it. Thank you for those hearts flying up the string. You have never had that happen before either, Amy Gill. Um, hello, Marianne, Robert. You had the pop of static electricity off your ear as you was getting out of your car. It's always better to... Uh, to touch metal on the car some way you don't discharge it while 
what if what if we are activating really what if we are activating our being of light our light bodies are literally activating but does it got something to do with the lunar moon the lunar eclipse does it <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. No, I don't got no flip locks. Oh, um, no, you can't open the doors. You feel like whatever's going on, it makes your body retain water. Okay. Now you got a water peel. You're petting your cat, gets her hair static. Um, It's like, if it ain't, if it isn't the, um, if it isn't the individual, let's think about it. I got to get some air in here. Let me try to see if I can get a flow of air because making my nose get red. If it's not just the individual on a, like an individual level, then there is a whole lot of static electricity in the air. It's like supercharged, supercharged air on a sunny day, on a sunny day, supercharged. Your cat shocks coming out. Um, you have been staticky um, your whole life. It blows with metal plates on your ankle. Um, Shauna, hello, Shauna, honey. Um, you learn your you're not losing your mind i hope you can't open the doors okay this is um experiencing a lot of uh, excessive amount of electricity there are some people who um well i don't think it's the same thing as the people who can't wear a watch because it just it doesn't keep time with their body because the watches don't work they can't wear watches I'm wondering um, if it's like the people who, this woman I spoke to one time, she put her hand on a glass table and it shattered. It literally shattered. And she didn't realize. I said, well, were you um, emotional at that moment? I think she was somewhat emotional at that moment, but it literally shattered and it shocked her. I mean, it didn't shock, shock her, but... I'm wondering if um, the static, the electricity coming through is the same thing as the people who can't wear watches or like the people who touch something and they just shatter like that. Um, you can see the energy when you look out your porch back door. It looks like when the heat comes off the asphalt. Okay. Um, everything's weird around your electrical stuff. Um, you've been sick since last night with stomach ache. Feels like you're being s <gasps> stabbed in the center of your back through your stomach and excessively tired. What if you did get attacked in your dream state? Really? You ever see the Lord of the Rings and they got that, um, sword that they stabbed Frodo with right there? And then Aragon comes and he just like booms it away. And then they drop the sword. And it was a certain type of sword, but it was um, from the spiritual rim. Like that. Um, your boyfriend has the stomach issues for the past few days. Hey, Al, honey. Sacral purging. Sacral purging. Um, okay, I hear police cars now. Um, you're in, um, uh, Maine, you got electricity back, even the data wasn't accessible, um, where are they going? There's the, this uh, ambulances and stuff. Um, the data wasn't accessible, and the folks around you wake up, and they're dead cell phones, save the earth with love. I'm up here in Maine. 
I finally got electricity back. Even the data wasn't accessible. And the folk around me woke up with their dead cell phones. That sounds like an EMP. Well, an EMP, is it an electrically charged thing? Is it? They can detonate an EMP above the Earth with the satellites, too. They happen to have a payload where they detonate it. That is wild. Well, you all, if, if everybody's cell phone goes dead all of a sudden, and you're driving your car, and your car goes dead, and everybody else's car goes dead, and you stop, rest assured you have had a EMP attack. And you might as well get ready to walk because your circuits in your car are probably fried. Your fuses are probably blown. And your cell phone ain't going to work and um, you're going to be in trouble. That's why you need to have a bug out bag in your car. You better have some good walking shoes on and whatever, or backpack or something. Um, flip it on the light switch. Um... If you were covered, you were covered. Well, we were covered in ice, but I thought that it odd that the data wasn't accessible till the lights came on. Oh no, I don't know. It's, it's kind of cold out here. It sounds really cold. Let me see this. Um, you've been um, on and off for weeks. Sometimes. Wavy and horrendous. You all, if you've, if you've had excessive amount of electricity going through your body, I've not experienced this. Only when I was young or something, I was scraping my tennis shoes off the carpet, across the carpet, trying to shock people in school to see if I could shock them. And I had it, it had took effort on my behalf to do that. But now today is like you can hear the pop. I can feel the pop coming out of my finger. We're, we are electrical beings, really. You got light inside your body. Um, suspicious observers uh, just posted this a few minutes ago that there were four um, solar storms. The severity of the impact considerably more than the forecasters were expecting. I used to listen to um, suspicious observers a lot. I did a peaceful, peaceful frequency, tone, yeah. Um, remain calm. Y'all got to remain calm while raising awareness because something is coming. This is, it's like um, when the plasma forms, like during rain and stuff and the thunderstorms and the electricity, the lightning, it's a lot of plasma. There's a lot of electricity in the air, but there's nothing going on now except the sun up there in the sky. Um, hello, Nadia Hamill. Um, somebody got a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dixon. Happy birthday to you, if that's your name. Dixon. Um, yeah. It's, um, it's a hatch day. It's, uh, it's something going on, you all. If you got an excessive amount of electricity that you are experiencing coming out of your body and your body normally don't have electricity. Well, there are times when you can have electricity and elect, you know, when you stick your um, tongue on those two, that, that square battery, that electricity filling right there. Um, You can feel that in your body too. You can. But this right here. Pop. Pop. Okay, we just saw that, Terry, honey. We might get um, auroras in Missouri. Well, aren't auroras the weakening of Earth's magnetic field? Aren't they? It's like there's a weakening in the magnetic field and it causes the aurora, the light to get in like that. No, it's not. Nothing to do with it at all. There's not no weak point or anything at all. 
Um, it came earlier than expected. Oh, Terry, honey. Yeah. Um, let me, let me look at this, you all. Emmett, honey, you gonna catch up later. Do you, um, I don't even know. Um, yeah, we got the trolls coming out. Al, honey, you on top of them? You and Apple Brooks, honey? That's okay. You all can handle it. You all be got the little excessive amount of electricity. I, I have felt it today four or five times, and it is a spark. It's a spark. It's like the all spark. You know, on the Transformers, they have the all spark that um, they stick inside whoever it is, the Decepticon or whatever, the all, why they call it the all spark. And then you have the quark, the quark, CERN and the quark, or whatever that is they have, where they want to compare they want to make that those quarks, sparks. Your aura is electromagnetic energy field that surrounds it and extends three feet from your feet in diameter and um, within five feet of the auras of others. The earth is like a big magnet, blackjack guitar. I like to say gator though, I really do. Blackjack gator, I like gator. <laughs> there is no South Pole. Mm -hmm. There are some who say it's the um, corners. Um, aurora Borealis. Aurora Bo Borealis. Sometimes during the Aurora Borealis, um, when we um, took some screenshots or watched the footage of it, it really did look like there was a huge UFO or flying saucer up there in the air during an Aurora Borealis event. And also, I uh, forget which live cam that what it was that was showing the Aurora Borealis. It was in another country and the guy, he went outside, it's like in the cold, 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 maybe over in Russia or something. He went outside and he pointed his camera up at the sky and you could see the black hole. It was literally a black hole up there in the sky, great big dark circle. And there was all of this stuff swirling all around it. It's like it opened up in the sky. Um, yeah, the Northern Lights, yeah, something like that. He was out there and he was kind of filming it and something like that. Um, um, yeah, let me tell you something, DC. I don't have a problem with the theory of flat earth. I don't have a problem with the theory of earth being a globe. I do not have a problem with the theory that earth being a hologram. I do not have a problem with the theory of us being on a circuit board, a motherboard. I do not have a problem with us being um, whatever other theories there are. Synthetic beings, I don't have a problem with any of it, okay? Um, I don't. There's nothing I can do about it. Nothing, nothing. Um, yeah. So, you all, you're experiencing um, excessive amounts of electricity. Because there is a lot of electricity. There's static electricity in the air. And my, my hair's not standing up, but it's it came from my fingers. When I was putting my card in there to pump gas, there was a big charge that came from my finger. It literally jumped this far from my finger to that place where you stick your card. And then I thought, well, do I even want to pick up this thing and put that gas thing in my gas tank and have a spark jump from my finger and catch a thing of gas and just poof, like that. It's like that, yeah. So um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get back on the road. I'm going to get back on the road, you all. Um, if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing. And thank you to everyone who has. Y'all hit that like button. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps get the message out. I'm, I'm very serious. There is an excessive amount of electricity. And I've not experienced this in my body, from my body, without...
before, like when I was a teenager, I would try to make the electricity come, but I'm not even doing nothing. And it's literally, it's powerful electricity coming out. And it's, I noticed it today. I might've had it happen yesterday, but today I noticed it big time. Um, um, no, no, see, I don't know who that is, but you just got yourself blocked. You don't come on here and um, do things like that, okay? You don't threaten me. You don't, you're not going to do any bullying on this YouTube channel, okay? You're not, because you're not coming from a position of love, okay? You're not. We don't have to put up with it, so we're not going to put up with it. We're trying to keep the frequency on this channel peaceful, okay? Peaceful. And if that means blocking negative energy, that's what we will do. That is what we do do, okay? We do it. We block it. So, um, yeah, positive vibes only. So I'm going to go, and um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your morning. Um, it's not morning. It's afternoon now. It soon will be evening. Um, have a wonderful rest of your afternoon, and I hope to see you um, later. I do. Thank you, moderators, and thank you all for your comments.